Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create assets library for your Blender 3.6 3D modeling and 3D animation software. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. Now you can see this is just a fresh new project and I press A and I press delete button to delete everything. And as demo, I'm going to just create a really simple 3D model. I go to the edit modes. Then, this is just a demo. So, I press E to extrude. Alright, let's say this is one of the 3D model. Alright, I want to save as, save as an asset and I'm going to open a, an asset library. So first I have to go back to the object mode. Just now it's in edit mode. Now I, I back to the object mode. Then I right click the cube. All right, let's say this is, I'm going to name this as shape 01. All right, then I right click. Then mark as assets. All right, so this is the way on how to just make it as assets and later we are going to move it to asset library. So as demo, I'm going to create an asset library on my desktop. I create a new folder, just name this as assets library A, for example, assets library A. Then we save this blend project at here. I click file, save as, save on my desktop, assets library A, then I'm going to name this as model 01. Wait, just check this. All right, shape 01. So I, I'm going to name this as shape 01. All right, click save. All right, now I already have one. Let's say if I, I want to add some material like this. Here, I click plus new. Let's say this is a new material. I'm going to change this, change this to become green color, let's say. This is a new material, I turn this on. So the material itself can save as an, an asset as well, and later it, it is going to appear inside the asset library. So I press F2 to name this, sorry. I double click the material 001, I name this as material green. So green, just name this as green. So this one, it's it already marked as asset, right? It already marked as asset. So I click File, Save. So this asset's already included at here. Next, I'm going to start a fresh new game project, sorry. File, New, General. Just a fresh new 3D project and I'm going to create one more Shape. I press A to delete everything. I click Add, Mesh. I add a cube. I turn on the texture. I go to the edit mode. I select this face and I press S to make it small. And this one, I press E to extrude. E to extrude. So now, I'm I'm going to name this as Shape Zero Two. Then I go to the material. Let's say I add a new material. It can be anything. It can be image texture, etc. For this one, I just make it like as red. All right. So red. So do as just now what I had did. I right click, mark as assets. Right click, mark as assets. Now shape zero two already become assets. Then I save inside this folder. I click file, save as on my desktop assets library A. Then I'm going to name this as shape 02. Right now, I click save as. It is going to save as a fresh new Blender project file. So now this is the asset library A. Next time in any other Blender project, we can just, just import the asset library A. We can direct use the materials and the 3D models inside. So I'm going to show you how. So first I'm going to close everything. And let's say, if the whole assets library A, I right, I right click and send to a zip folder. Let's say if I share this with you, I send this to you, I share in my Google Drive for you, 
then you have to right click and just extract all it is going to extract into the folder like this right so let's say if I already pass this folder to you pass this zip folder to you you extract it to your computer then you can just open the blender then you can import this as an asset library so start from now I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step how to import the assets library that created by someone or created by me or you created by yourself how to import it so first you can just go to the edit preferences then go to the far path at here under the assets library you click add it is on my desktop I'm going to choose the asset library A. I double click this folder already open I click add asset library then can close this is the asset library A if you want to use the, the assets inside so you can move your mouse cursor to here until you can see a little cross you drag it to the left like this then at here you choose the assets browser then from here you find the assets library A now you can see the two materials that I had set just now is already here the shape 01, shape 02, all at there already. Let's say if I want to use the assets inside directly, a drag and drop. Now you can see, I drag and drop, I can direct use the 3D models that created just now because it is inside the assets library. So let's say, now this is the shape 01, shape 02, it already inside there. Then you can go to the edit mode and just edit it anytime, but it is not going to override your asset library's 3D model. This one, you just use it independently. After you save it, it is not going to override anything in the asset library. This is just the assets. So now you can see if I turn on the texture, I can see the texture. And actually, I can use the materials that save just now. I drag and drop. You can see. Now I drag and drop the material so, so now you can see it is only support in object mode so I go to the object mode I select this drag and drop now I can change the material it can be any materials you can save it as you want now you can see I change it change the color change the material even if you simply add a mesh like a cone you can use the materials that you saved previously it is really easy to manage your assets by save it as an asset library and next time you can use it more convenient rather than the FBX exporting and importing. Alright, that's all for today about my tutorials on how to create assets for your 3D model, for your material and also how to import your own assets library or any of the asset library that share by other people, how to in import it so that you can open by using your assets browser it is really easy and that's all for today about my tutorials on how to create asset library how to save your 3d models as asset library and how to save your material as asset library and how to import the existing asset library into your blender and that's all for today thank you for watching if you love my videos tutorials and sharing if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animation, and 3D game developing, <coughs> you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish new videos, tutorials, or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animation, and 3D game developing. See you!